Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with environmental engineering in the topic of sewer design. So the problem is the main combined sewer was designed to serve an area of the area is 60 square kilometer with an average population of 185 persons per hectare. Okay, so per hectare there is a 185 persons in the population. Okay, so for 60 square kilometer, what is the population? So we have to find out. So then average rate of sewage flow is 130 liters per capita per day. Okay, so then the maximum flow is 50 percentage in excess of the average together with the rainfall equivalent to 12 mm in 24 hours. Okay, so whenever the rainfall, the 50 percentage of uh, rainwater is excess. Uh, then the rain flow is 12 mm in 24 hours all of which are runoff what should be the capacity of the sewer so we have to design the uh, sewer so the capacity we have to find out okay so now uh, first thing we have to find out the pop total population in the particular area so total population so population is population density into area Okay, so now the population density is 185 persons per hectare. Okay, so for uh, persons per hectare, so this 60 is square kilometer. Okay, so we can convert into hectare. So 60 into hectare, we can convert into 10 power 2. Okay, so now uh, we got the value of 11.1 .1 into 10 power 5 persons. Okay, so in 60 kilometers uh, square kilometers, the 11.1 into 10 power 5 persons are lived there. Okay, so now the average sewage flow, so average sewage flow is 350 liters per capita per day. Okay, so now uh, the total uh, sewage quantity, so total sewage quantity is 350 into 11.1 .1 into 10 power 5. Okay, so per person, so there is 350 liters. So into the person's total persons is 11.1 .1 into 10 power 5 liter. Okay, so now we got the value of 388.5 into 10 power 6 liters per day. Okay, so now we can convert into meter cube per second. So now uh, 388.5 into 10 power 6 divided by so we can convert into liter into meter cube so 10 power 3 into so per day so 1 divided by so it's a day so we can convert into seconds so now we can take 24 hours into 60 minutes into 60 seconds okay so now we got the value of 4.5 meter cube per seconds okay so the average sewage flow is 4.5 5 meter cube per second okay so now we can uh, find out the storm water flow so storm water flow so the, we can use the uh, formula area in meter square into depth of storm flow in meter divided by time of 24 hours in seconds okay so now the area is 60 square kilometer so we can uh, convert into meter square so 10 power 6 into so depth is uh, depth of sro so 12 divided by 1000 okay so 12 mm so we can convert into meter okay so 12 into 1000 okay so now uh, we can convert into time of 24 hours so now 24 into 60 into 60 okay so now we got the value of 8.33 meter cube per second so next thing is we have to consider the maximum flow is 50 percentage in excess of average together of rainfall okay so now we can we can maximum sewage flow so maximum sewage flow is uh, 4.5 into 50 percentage more so now 4.5 so plus 4.5 into 50 percentage okay so or we can 
directly 4.5 into we can multiply in 1.5 okay so now we got the value of 6.75 meter cube per second okay so now the total quantity so total quantity or uh, the capacity of sewer is uh, maximum sewage flow plus storm water okay so now 6.75 plus 8.33 okay so totally we got the value of 15.08 meter cube per second okay so this is the final answer this is the capacity of sewer required okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you